it's hump day middle of the week hello my lovely babies welcome back today's video is all about the gemini tank by vapresso So today I'm looking at the new Gemini tank. This is a tank by Vapresso. Last week I looked at the Taro 200 watt TC mod by Vapresso and they kind of go together as a pair. So I'm going to be using the Taro with this today. But I haven't opened mine yet. It is, I absolutely love the Vapresso Target Atomizer. So I'm really excited to try this one out. It comes in this traditional plastic packaging. And is there tape? Is there L tape? Yes, there is tape. And you open it up, you have the tank right here, and it pops out. Not easily, okay. <laughs> pops out, and then underneath that you have a little how to fill guide and about the coils. And then on the back here you have placement glass, an extra drip tip, and an extra coil. So here is the C-cell coil. This is stainless steel, 316 stainless steel. This is a 0.8 ohm coil really similar to the other coils but different resistance i mean similar to the coil that came with the target it also comes with a wide bore drip tip like this or this one uninstalled and they are both delrin drip tips i'm gonna go ahead and put the wide bore on right now because i like that a lot more than smaller drip tips installed in the base it has a 0.5 ohm stainless steel 316 coil as well so here is the tank itself it is stainless steel Pyrex glass. There is dual adjustable airflow at the top here and at the bottom. It is a top fill so you would take off the top and I'll show you that in a second. There is an e-liquid control flow valve in there. I'm not sure how you change it other than actually taking the base off and switching it around with your finger. It has a 22.5 millimeter diameter, a gold plated 510 pin, and it's 65 millimeters from tip to thread base. It is a 3 mil capacity and it can be used in both wattage or temperature control mode. The new stainless steel coil in here can handle up to 75 watts. To fill it you just take off the top right here and fill in there into those slots. Here is the airflow at the top and it can just be adjusted by spinning. There it says the Vapresso logo and the bottom airflow, same, can just be adjusted by spinning. Now, for the e-liquid control in here, I'm not sure how you would move that other than actually just sticking your finger in and see, you can spin it and open it and close it how you like it. So, I'm definitely going to, no, I'll start with like halfway. So, that's, that's the only way, like, I don't know how else you would change it. I'm going to be filling it up with some Cheshire Cat by The Vaping Rabbit. I got a new order of Vaping Rabbit in. I love almost all the flavors from that entire line. The Cheshire Cat is an orange pineapple upside down cake with brown sugar glaze. I was really craving something sweet right now, so I'm going to fill it up with that. Plus, it has cat in the name. I mean, <laughs> I'm a crazy cat lady. Self-proclaimed crazy cat lady. I do have four cats. I already got it all filled up, so I'm going to go ahead and put the top back on and let it wick up good and then I vape it for you guys. Alright, so it's had plenty of time to wick up and now it's time to give her a go. I've heard a few people say that this is the Griffin Killer, but I don't even know what the Griffin is. I'm pretty sure it's a tank, but I never ever looked at it, so I wouldn't be able to make that decision on my own, but that's what I've heard about this. I've heard nothing but good things about this Gemini tank. Whoa. Now that is blowing some huge clouds. Oh my god. Mm, the flavor is so good. This flavor is good. Like I've had it in different atomizers and it's really good. But I feel like it's just coming out so freaking clean and delicious from these coils. And the C-Cell coils by Vapresso are just wildly popular. I haven't heard many bad things about them. It, the only thing that I've heard bad about them I think is that some people um, burn them out. Too quickly and that's usually sort of user error but as far as flavor goes I think I can say that most everybody agrees that these are amazing flavor producing coils and I have the drip tip airflow open a little bit 
and I think that's I just I never a big fan of like top airflow when it has a base airflow and a top airflow I've never been a fan of top airflow as well as base airflow being open so I'm gonna close that off and see if I like that vape a little bit better see that's where I like it I just feel like the top ooh, ooh. <laughs> clouds bitch I feel like the top airflow is just like, too much airflow for me personally I don't know why I continue to do these on camera when I know I can't do them. I should just perfect the O's and then come back on camera. <laughs> Damn, I really like this. I think I want to open the juice flow control a little bit more. I had it at halfway. I feel like maybe I would like it more on all the way. Not that I'm getting a burnt hit, but I feel like I want to have more juice and more flavor coming to the coil. Jesus, <laughs> that's just so, there's still vape coming out of my lungs, jeez. I am really digging this tank and I really want to hear from you guys. I'm pretty sure it's on the market. I will link below. I've seen it go from anywhere from $25 to $30, but when I googled it, most places came up with the RTA, which I really do want to try out. I just got to get one of my rebuilder friends up here to help me because I heard that that's also a really good RTA as well. But this tank is phenomenal. It is vaping amazingly. The flavor is A+, the cloud production A+, the airflow, like you said, it's kind of, it's personal preference. So. Wide open airflow with the drip tip airflow closed is perfect for me. I do like that it comes with the option of a wide bore drip tip since I personally prefer wide bore drip tips. Oh my god, this is just producing. I'm wondering if this produces more clouds than my eye sub because I love my eye subs. As I was just saying earlier this week when I looked at an, a new eye sub tank, but this is just wow. So if you've tried the Gemini tank, let me know down in the comments below what you think of it. If you want me to do a one month update on it, I can definitely do that. I can tell you already that even if I don't get like enough requests to make the one month update, I am so going to be using this and trying this out. Like I wish they had sent me a couple more to do a giveaway. Mm. The flavor is so good. The brown sugar glaze makes this vape so delicious and sweet. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below this video for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos. So if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related, you can check out that channel. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes, and thank you so much for watching. And don't these two just look like they go together? Like, they just look like they were made for each other, this setup. Even though I'll probably put this on something else that I prefer to vape more. I mean, I like this, but I don't need a 200 watt mod, really.